I'm going to show you how to calculate area under the catchment generated. So I have my streams here already and my primary road, which is the trunk road. So I'll turn on the layer for catchment. So this is the catchment with streams. So it's on the trunk road or primary road here. So the catchment has already been generated. So we're going to delineate this by knowing what's the area, catchment area of this watershed. So in just simple few steps, what you're required to do, first things first, is you need to select this area, which is the catchment area. Let me rename it for easy follow-up. Rename. So I'll keep it catchment area. I can keep it that way. Okay. So I have streams catchment area. So what I'm required to do now is to create, to know the area of this. So the first things first, you need to have this, all this layer in your projection. So for my case here, at the background is in projection, UTM zone 37 south WGS84. That means it is in meters. So what you're required to do now, you need to create now the attribute table of this particular area. So I'll go now to my catchment area. Make sure the pencil is on. Yes, you can always, you can always turn it on and off. So I'll turn it on again here. Then let us go straight to the attribute table by pressing here, or you can just right click. You can right click here, open attribute table. Bingo, just like that. So you have filled the end this, ignore this. So we're gonna create our new field here. Okay, by turning on the pencil and create a new field here. I'll keep it area, okay, in kilometer square. Yes, I want in kilometer square. So I'll put the type of data which is supposed to be entered or figured in. So that means it should be in decimal number. Yes, there you are. Then okay, so I have my area in square kilometer. So we are required to know the area of this particular watershed. So we're going to go to this particular open field calculator. I'm going to click that. Then directly, we have to update existing field. That means the data should be inside this area in square kilometer. Then we wrote an expression here. So where, where are we going to find this expression? Is going, we're going to find it on the geometry here. So let us look for the geometry. Wow, bingo, then dollar area. So I'll double click dollar area because you know it, it has a value, but this is in square meter, okay? So we need to convert square meter into square kilometer. How are we going to convert it? There is a word here which shows here. That means one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. That means to get one square kilometer, that means it's equal to one million square meter. That means in order to get our area from square meter to square kilometer, that means we need to divide by a million. So I'm going to put this expression, divide by one, one, two, three. That's a thousand, one, two, three. That's a million. So we have it already, you can preview it already. So then, bingo, just like that. Okay, so I have it here at 91.10. So we have the square kilometer of 91.10. That means if you are going to label here our catchment area like this, going to label it here, then I'll put it label, single label. And then we'll choose here area square kilometer. That means you have a value here, 91.100. But uh, we can do it. We can put a better visualization. That means we need to we need to have ninety one point one zero maybe square kilometer. We need the square kilometer to be seen in our map here interface. So I'll go back to my attribute table. We'll keep we'll do some manipulation. That means I'll create a new field. So I'll create a new field. This is area. Of course, it's kilometer square, but labeled. You see, labeled perfect. I mean, for labels, okay. So I'll put now, because I'm just trying to put it very perfect, I'll mix text data and decimal number. That means I'll put here text purposely, and I'll keep it maybe, for instance, 50. Okay. Then I'll say, okay. So that means I have my area in square kilometer, but I want it to put label. So I want to figure it out by just putting this 91.10 here in this column with square kilometer already. So I'm going back to my field calculator here. Then that means I want to to add, I mean, to connect between the numbers and the kilometer. That means what you're required to do, just click on update existing field. So I want on this column, area kilometer label, that means I need to connect. In connecting, this is concatenate. You need to go to string here, then double click concatenate. Then what are we concatenating? We are concatenating between this column area with area kilometer square label. 
That means that column, what's the name of the column? So that means I'll put double string, area, area, this one, area, kilometer, square, yes, then I'll put double string, then a comma, then I'll put again. So because I'm concatenating, I'm joining with, so it should be kilometer, then I can put a two here, kilometer square, just like this, maybe like, just put a, yeah, square, then a string, then I'll close the bracket here. So you see, so that means our value will be 91.1000 square kilometer. That's it. So when I click here, okay, that means you have our value here. So I'm, upon expanding this, it will be 91.10 square kilometer. So that means here now, when I label, I label now here, instead of area kilometer, I put area kilometer label. That means you'll have 91.10 square kilometer. Then we can put, uh, we can do some, we can do some text buffering here, labeling here. We can put some, okay, draw text buffer here. Then we can add some size. See, we are keeping, we're giving it a visual impression. Put a size of 15 here. Yes, you see? So it's just like that. Simple, like this. So, this is the way we're doing it. So we know now the area under this watershed is 91.101. So you can always try to play around, can put it even 91.1 square kilometer. So this is the way of doing it. So thank you. Hope I'm understood. So subscribe for more videos because I'll be dropping more videos. Thank you a lot.